Transition is the easiest way to create animation in CSS. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you everything about transition, how we can create an animation using transition in CSS. So we are going to create an animation like this. Here you can see. So first of all, we'll create a box for creating this animation. So let's go to our code. Over here, uh, you can see index.html. So inside this body, let's just mention a div over here. Then inside this div, we are going to say here, hello. And for this div, we will mention a class. Class name will be box. So right now, let's go to our style.css over here. We are going to mention the class box over here. So right now, uh, first of all, let's say the text color, it will be white. So right now, if we save this, then if we open it over here, you can see hello over here. So we'll make a box for this hello. So right now, what we can do is that uh, in in this box class, we're going to say background color, it will be red. Then we we'll say here padding, it will be 100 px. Border radius, it will be let's say 20 px. And let's also say that text font size, it will be 25 p. So if we now set this, then if we now refresh here, here you can see we have the box over here. So let's just make it look like this. Okay. So right now we're going to add it. So right now we're going to add a transition effect over here when we take our cursor on this box. So for it, we're going to say over here dot box clone hover. Hover means we are taking our cursor over here. Let's say we'll rotate our box over here. So let's, we can just say over here transform. Let's say it will be rotate. We want to rotate it. Let's say rotate. We'll rotate it by 90 degree. So now here you can see transform rotate 90 degree. It means it will make our box rotate 90 degree. So here uh, inside this box, we're going to say here transition property. It will be transition property. It will be transform, which is this one. So right now, if we save this, then refresh here and take my cash over here. Here you can see it rotated by 90 degree, but obviously it doesn't look good. It just changed its design suddenly. So we can, uh, how do you can do is that we can add a duration for this animation. So here we can say over here, transition duration, it will be, let's say 0 0.5 second. Save, refresh here, take my cash over here. Here you can see it now rotating. It looks like it's now rotating. So right now instead of 90 degree, let's say over here, 360, save this, refresh, take my cursor over here, here you can see it rotate 360 degree over here. We can even add a delay for the animation, let's say transition delay, it will be let's say we want the animation to happen after let's say after taking your cursor over here, let's say after 2 seconds. So we can just say over here 2s. So if I now take my cursor over here, after 2 seconds it will start rotating as you can see. And if I went you by cursor from here, after two seconds, it will go back to its previous form. Now there is one more property over here, which is transition timing function. And here we can use linear, then we can also use is in, then is out, is in out. So basically, let me just explain what is is in linear and is in out. So linear is basically uh, the animation will be moving at constant rate. Uh, let me just show you the example. So just uh, concentrate on this linear button or linear box. Here you can see its speed is constant. But on the other hand, you can see for easing, it starts slow, but, but the in speed is fast. On the other hand, for ease out, it start fast, but, but the end is slow. And easing out is a mix of is in and is out. You can see uh, is in starts slow, then get first, then then again uh, go slow at the end as well. So those are the basics. So here uh, for this animation, we can say what here linear, linear, or we can say what here is. So if you do not this uh, give this function by default, it will use is. Okay. So right now, if you want to change the background color over here, you can do that as well. So for it, we just need to say over here, background color, let's say color will be blue violet, then the text color will be black. So right now, if you set this, 
refresh and here you can see the color changed over here i think the transition delay is too much let's make it 0 0.5 second set this refresh here okay so right now uh, there is one more thing that is instead of writing all of those again and again there is simple way to write transition so let me just comment this out and what we can do is that we can just say over here transition and here you can see we write over here property transform which is this one so we can just say over here transform then we can give the transition duration so the first time we'll consider as duration and the second time we'll consider as delay okay so let's say this one will be 0 0.8 second and here after it we can say over here is or linear let's just say over here linear so if we set this it will still work as well here you can see now let's make our box round over here so for it what we need to do is that inside this box hover we are just going to say border radius it will be 50 percent save refresh so here you can see our box is round over here but the color change happened instantly so instead of transform over here we can just show over here all so what will happen is that it will play the or make the animation for everything we have over here so if we now refresh here here you can see everything happened together the color change and the rotate happened together now let's say you want the rotate happen at the beginning and then you want the color to change you can do that as well so for it what you need to do is that let me just remove this and here i'm going to show over here transform and here uh, i'm just going to mention the transition duration let's say transition duration will be one second then i'll give a comma over here then i'm going to show over here background color background color and for background color changing the time will be the duration for animation will be two second and the delay will be let's say two second let's just show it here linear so what will happen at the first second it will rotate our box and after two second of delay it will change the background color and the changing background color will take two second so right now if we save this then let me just refresh over here take my cursor over here here you can see it first rotated and then that color changed from red to blue violet you can add this animation for button or for any text or even for images as well let me just show you for a image let's just uh, remove this hello from here let's just have a image over here let's just show over here image tag uh, first let's say image height it will be 600 and width it will be 600 then in the source i have a image over here this image luffy.jpg let's show over here luffy.jpg then uh, for this image we'll mention the class class will be box so right now if we now save then if we now refresh here you can see it over here now let's just remove the let's just decrease the padding over here box padding or let's also change the height from 600 to 500 then in the css let's say padding will be 10 px set this again then refresh here take my cursor over here and here you can see so you can also do this for button or for any text field so this is all about transition so so you can create simple animation using transition so i hope you learned something new from this video if you want more tutorial like this then please consider to subscribe this channel i'll really appreciate that thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorial